Hey, it's Real Theo Kristen Marie, and we are live. Let me go live on Instagram real quick for everyone because I forget to do it this all. Okay. Okay. That's live. All right. So, okay. Live on Instagram, on X, on Facebook, on YouTube, all that. There's nobody here, but it's Monday and it's Real Theo Kristen Marie, like I said. And this is the Who Said You On podcast. And we are, um, if you're listening to this on the podcast side, sorry, iHeartRadio and all that, please hit the subscribe and all that crap um, and rate the podcast, please. Also, if you can hear me and you hear me, I'm not talking to myself. There's a live chat going. You can watch this crazy live because all the episodes that you listen to are live over here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1215. And then I upload them over there for you guys. And that's it. So, yeah, if you want to hear or see the crazy live, come over and check us out. Because usually I have a panel. You guys will hear that and a live chat going. And, again, nobody's here yet, but that's fine. But I'm going to get started soon. Waiting. <laughs> um, make sure everybody does, like, the follow and all that stuff, please, on Facebook, Instagram, all that. Please follow the at Reality of Chris Marie. Hey, Shay, how are you? It's always at Reality of Chris Marie. That is my thing for every social so anyway so this is real housewives of miami which is i don't know i don't want to call it a filler episode but it's definitely a who side episode so like adriana or nicole and i did a poll and let me see what the polls say actually because um it looked 50 50 last time so the youtube poll one instagram poll it's in the screen polls as poll results 50 50 okay seven votes it was 50 50 adriana or nicole i also um and we're gonna go over watch what happens live also because um lisa and larsa are on there it's pretty interesting pretty disgusting um lisa looks like the cowardly lion i'm sorry i'm not trying to be mean but she looks like the cowardly lion it's her hair and her teeth so and i'm not mean i'm just saying you have room you're sitting there like you know, talking about Katarina's teeth and how Lane did a horrible job on her teeth. Well, like, honey, so whoever did your teeth aren't that great either. It's, it's, she's got new teeth and I don't like it. And her hair, she looks like the cowardly lion. I'm just saying that's not a bad thing. He, cowardly lion's pretty cute. Um, but yeah, let me go turn the fan on real quick too. Actually, it's like hot in here. I think blood pressure's starting to go up, guys. Like, I don't know what it is about these housewives, but I swear they've taken 10 years off my life, especially Jen Shaw. Like, the Jen Shaw of it all, guys. But we're not going to get into the next episode today. Okay, you guys can't hear that great. Hopefully you can't hear that. There we go. I have to have it on. I don't think you guys can hear it, though. But anyway, so. Now, so we started out the episode. The episode started out at Marisol's house, which isn't bad. Like, I know Marisol's a friend of. I'm, I am I liked Marisol. Well, I didn't like Marisol in the very beginning. Um, I'm starting to like her now because she's starting to just be a little like less like a psycho, but I also feel like she needs to not give Adriana a pass at all. Like, it's just weird for me to think that she's giving Adriana a pass. Right. So when she's talking to Steve, he makes her drink and they're talking about the party and she how she's not inviting Nicole and she goes to her confessional and she's like, you know, Adriana, we're used to this with Adriana. We're always mad at Adriana, which it doesn't make any sense. You don't like Adriana. Like, if, if you're just as mad as Nicole about Anna, this is not a pass for Adriana just because Adriana is just being Adriana. Because if, in the very beginning, remember when they walked in and asked why Anna was there, Nicole said, Adriana is bringing her as her plus one. So right then and there, Adriana, if anything, is just as fault as Nicole. Right? But, uh, you know, we'll keep going. Because I... So she's talking to Steve about it, and um, you know, she, in her confessional, she says the same thing that she's used to Adriana being an asshole, and that Nicole's an mf -er for not. Hey, Mimir, thank you for being here. I was wondering where everybody was at. I was getting nervous. Um, yeah. So like, she's talking about how you know they all kind of are just used to Adriana being an asshole, blah blah. blah. And I'm like, but this is about Anna being invited. So like, and, and like the fact that she, we still don't even they still don't even know the whole reason why. Um, and it was going to be there, right? Because of course, you know, like that's they're holding that thing. They're holding that. But the thing is, I feel like Nicole knew. I feel like Nicole knew if anything, she knew why Anna was coming there. Because I don't know why, why Adrian would say, like, why would she just bring 
and there why would she call nicole and say hey i'm just gonna bring it like there's got to be a reason right like there's no reason for this chick just to show up she's not a housewife anymore and obviously we know from the reunion she said she's been get feeding them information right so anyway so we'll get to that part but we pivot to steve's stepson's coming out and they're cute or steve's sons they're cute I like the whole dynamic with them. Um, you know, that that kind of was a boring episode. But, you know, the medium guy comes and he's like, I feel weird in this part of the house. It was probably a longer um, scene than what they showed us. But it was cute. Um, I like the fact that she gets along with his, him and his sons. And I think that Marisol has a cute little life. And she's happy. I don't think she's an alcoholic. I think she's just trying to sell some alcohol. Some brand or something like that, right? And she's starting an alcohol brand. Um, I don't see her messy ever. So, you know. When they came back to the Mother's Day brunch, they should have came back with that attitude. You know what I'm saying? But we're not going to go back to old Marisol, right? Because, like, remember, everybody was starting new this season. So everybody's starting new. But Adriana doesn't seem to, like, want to, like, the fact that she is so afraid of these ladies. Why are you just, like, allowing, like, yourself to be there? Especially when Marisol's then is, like, a bunch of gifts for free. So, like, I don't know. My whole thing about it is at this point, they're both at fault because I'm pretty sure Nicole knew. And I really do. We do see a scene where Adriana, not that Adriana gets a pass. I, I'm done with her. We're done with her. But like, she does not get a pass at all. She's really, really the asshole here. But Nicole should have done better. So, but anyway, so the next thing we have is the Russell and Gertie scene, which is awesome. Like her in the hospital. And like, we know because we can see into the future that, um, She's dealing with something. I personally, I didn't know that she found out on the way to that thing, but we'll get there. But like, I like the fact that she has Russell. Um, I don't know. That whole scene was cute. Like he was being her, his nurse, her nurse or whatever. And, you know, she says that she's picky or something like that, which of course you are a girl. Like you just have done like, you know, having surgery. So yeah, he said he's going to do anything with, but it's cute. She has one for cake, blah, blah, blah. So then the ladies come and well, not the ladies, it's Nicole and was it Nicole and Julia. And so Nicole and Julia show up with smoothies for her, which is cute. They come in and they tell her, you know, um, you know, they, she had the surgery and they're just waiting for pathology, which when Nicole's a doctor, so Nicole knows that that's going to tell everything. Um, so, you know, she tries to tell um, Gertie about the, how she had nothing to do with the, with, um, Anna being there where like, she's like, the girls are never going to believe me because we, I forgot that they get a text about being invited to Marisol's thing. And of course, Nicole's sitting right there and she's not invited. And Julia is there too. Julia, again, Julia got so weird. Okay. Like when she showed up at Marisol, I know I'm jumping ahead, but her whole thing of like, just being so weird when she got there, like, I don't know what's wrong with her. Like, I feel like something's wrong with her. I, I don't know. Like, Thank God that she is there, but, like, I don't know. Like, she told Nicole that she was going to take care of it and, like, you know, and make sure that she gives the information. Okay, now this is what she says, though. She says she's good. she has some information, and... I mean, she might not have known that, but I think that Anna said... I think that Adriana said she's going to talk crap about, like, Alexia and bring up Alexia, I think. I think she knew what was going to happen with Anna being there, what Anna's plan was on coming, but she didn't execute it. But, um, you know, so like, so she's, so they get that message and I'm like, so again, they're, they're like, they're letting Adriana come knowing that Nicole said Adriana's it's Adriana's plus one. And like you, they're not, they should at least call Nicole, right? And be like, yeah, like, why was Ayana there? Like, what's the truth? Like, I don't think Nicole has this, like, Nicole's got to stop, like, denying that she knew that, or she didn't know that why Anna's, what Anna's plan was. I, I mean, listen, like, why, Nicole's smart. Like, she's not going to be like, oh, yeah, just bring this random housewife that hasn't been here in 10 years, who you said is talking shit on everyone at the reunion, like, why admit that you're like, you know, you get information from her, but like, you don't believe it. But like, you don't, you're not going to ask why she, what's her point in coming? Why is Adriana want her there? Adriana does not need her there. For what? If anything, Adriana puts herself in these positions where the ladies get mad at her because she deserves it. Like, you know, like, so, you know, you're bringing the fire, like you're bringing it. But I think Nicole should have, I don't know, like, she's not calling them and saying, hey, 
I didn't know, blah, 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 but this is what Adriana's plan was. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't know Adriana. I don't know. Like, so Julia is still not saying anything to Gertie. It's in, like, why is, why is Julia not saying, look, this is what was really happening, Nicole. I'm so sorry that you got wrapped up in this. And I'm going to make sure that I make sure it's okay. But make sure you didn't know about this, Nicole. Like, did you know? You know, or at least because Adriana does say that Nicole knew in the end. But we'll see. But um, poor Gertie, though. Like, she just, I don't know why. I, if I were her, I wouldn't even go because I just feel like in her, the way she, her, like, mental state, I like, why be around these women? She knows that what's going to happen. Like, you know, she had, does have the option to up and leave. But, like, it's a lot of stress to put on yourself when she's, I mean, I know she didn't know, but she was going to get that phone call. But still, like, you're in recovery. You're waiting for pathology. Um, I maybe, yeah, getting up and doing things. But, like, that environment just seems, I don't know. Now, the thing is, like, Nicole's not going to be there. But I don't think, I think Nicole should be there and Adriana shouldn't. Or neither one of them should be there. But I just feel like watching Nicole at the party when she was confronted with all she didn't, she's not a good actress. She's just not. Like, I don't know what happened. You know, and like to go there and oh, like I'm a busy mom and wife, like nobody else is either. Like, like you're not, you're not the only one that's busy. I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out facts. Like, she kind of was like very like, I don't know what the word is, but I don't know, passive aggressive, basically saying, like, I you guys have lives, I have a life and you don't, or I don't know, like, just because they're not professionals doesn't mean they have, like, you know, maybe they don't have 45 minutes to, like, you know, argue with this girl, Anna, so, like, why not even bring her to the thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody has time for this girl, okay? That's the thing, Nicole, like, you should have asked, why are you coming here? What is the motive? Like, Kiki said, what is she coming here for? But anyway, that's what bothers me, though, like, why are they giving Adriana a pass? All of a sudden, they're giving Adriana a pass. Like, Marisol cannot stand Adriana, but she's like, oh, she's just an asshole anyway. But, like, she's literally the one who brought her there. So, like, I feel like when they get to the thing. But, anyway. So, that whole thing happens. The scene is. And then, like, age, and Nicole's like, I'm not going to ever go to another thing. They're never going to believe the best out of me. And it's like, what are you talking about? Like, when have they ever doubted her? It's weird. Like, she's just saying, like, I don't, I'm never going to get anything. They owe me an apology. Well, like, you need to go to Adriana and figure out who decided what was cut. Like, and, like, Adriana's saying... No, Nicole did not know. I never told her. Like, I want Adriana to say, Nicole did not know why I was bringing Anna. That's all. And then I'll be okay. And then I'll say, okay, Nicole's like, you you were just like, you just, I don't know, let it go. I don't know why you did. Why did you let this lady? It was supposed to be a nice lit, like lunch for Lisa, a redo, not a bunch of problems. So like, again, Nicole, like maybe be a little more mindful of who you have there when you're trying to do something nice for somebody. It's supposed to be a redo of all the other bad things that have happened to her on Mother's Day. Like, it just, to me, like, and her acting is so bad. Like, what happened? I don't understand. I don't understand. It's like, yes, you, I mean, what do you mean you don't understand? Like, <clears throat> then ask questions first. I don't know. But <clears throat> Adriana, or Julia, Julia is like, I'm going to speak up at the party. But, like, Julia, why don't you just say something to Cole then? Like, Julia is just weird. Like, Adriana needs to be saying this shit. Like, why is Julia speaking up? Like, maybe, like, maybe she's making saying, I'm gonna make sure that it does happen. But, like, I don't know. Nicole shouldn't be taking all the blame. And they're giving all the blame to her. Like, you know, like, Julia tells Gertie that, um, so Julia tells Gertie, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so pretty, I'm sorry, I'm just reading my notes. Yeah, she's just gonna clear the air, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's like, Nicole's like, they're just electing me to be blamed for it. It's like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like they don't, they don't have any, like they just became good friends with Nicole. Right. So it does seem weird. I do agree that Alexia was right. It just seems kind of odd. Right. So again, like I, maybe they just don't have a reason to trust her, but Nicole shouldn't be given up so easily and be like, they owe me an apology because we still don't know if you knew yet. So maybe not like, you know, like just cause you're not saying anything that you knew about the, like even Julie is not saying it because I don't know why I wish Julie would just come out and ask her. Hey, Nicole, did you know, did, did, did my best friend Adriana tell you that she was going to expose Alexia over something that makes absolutely no sense? Her reasoning behind it still makes no sense to me. They were giving tough loves to Lisa. That was it. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the Anna girl. Like, I, like, Adriana's brain is like fucking, like Julia should have put a real stop to this and be like, you are not making sense. <laughs> nothing to do with like Alexia's finances just because we're telling Lisa that you can't spend money like you used to. I I don't know. I know, but Nicole, like she didn't give him a like she really didn't help herself 
by not asking the questions. Like, you know, like I want to know they, I don't think they're jealous. I think it's weird that they're acting. I, I kind of feel like this is a setup because even like Alexi is acting strange when she was at the dinner, she's going as she should, as she should. Like Nicole's like, are you, uh, maybe they're trying to get like Adriana to like open her mouth. Like, oh, we're going to blame Nicole and see how long Adriana lets her get blamed for. Her. To me, that's kind of what it seemed like, but let's just, you know, whatever. I'll drop the con link in like a little bit. I'm going to get through my notes first because you guys see what happens when I don't. Um, but like people do, I love you guys for being here. You guys are, I like when you guys talk in the chat too. Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, Marisol's got a nice little life though. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's got a cute little life. Like, so does Alexia. So, I mean, actually, we don't even really know. It's kind of making me really mad. Like, I am really mad at the fact that he is like out on a trip. But we're going to get to that part because, you know, I'm like, I don't want to jump ahead, but like, I know this is about Adriana and whatever, but this stuff with Alexia and Todd is so fucking weird. $45,000 a month. Like, what? Like, yeah. Uh, I wish Judge you can. Hey, Judge, you can. Oh, yeah. It's Momo, Kitty, Love, Love, Kitty, Love, Love. Sterling, my rain. Love her. Okay. I love you guys. Like, all right. So, anyway, she was the one who let her out of the party. Yeah. Like, she literally let her come to the party. I, like, I don't know. Like, I'm saying it's her fault at this point, too, because we don't know yet if she knows. But depart with Logan. Oh, my God. So, I, okay. So, Lisa and Logan, her little kid. I love Lenny's son. He, he looks just like Lenny. He's just like Lenny. He, but he loves his mom, thank God. But, like, Lisa bringing him to the bank. He saves all his money. He's got this cute little bank account. So, Lisa, the hack team, brings little Logan to the bank. He wants to open up a bank account. He's been saving his money. Like, this kid is, like, an adult trapped in a kid's body. He's the cutest thing I've ever seen with glasses and everything. So, she brings him to the bank. She brings him to the bank. He walks into a little piggy bank. And the guy's, like, shakes his hand. And he's, like, hey. And he's, like, I'm Logan. Shake his hand. He's, like, I want to open up a bank account. And the guy's, like, well, how much do you have in there? And he's, like, a lot of money. A lot. So then he opens up his piggy bank, right? Now, <clears throat> side note, <clears throat> um, Lisa's living in a house right now that um, Jody pays half of, I'm just saying. So, okay. So this kid, he's so cute. So he opens up his piggy bank, right? And he's like, I got money in here. And he like pulls out his money and he's got hundreds, right? And he's like, wait, one of these is fake. He's got hundreds. He's got, he's got all kinds of money. I don't really know how much he's in there, but this kid, you can tell he's been saving. He's so honest. He's like, one of these is fake. One's from China. He's so cute. And um, so anyway, so Lisa's like, so Lisa starts this conversation with him, right? She's like, oh, you know, in my confession, she's like, you know, I'm going to have to teach him the value of money, you know, because they're going to go from like a $60,000 house, 60 foot, whatever, 60,000 square foot house down to a, like, I don't know, 20 or 30,000 square foot house. All right. Well, again, Jody's paying half of Lisa's rent. Okay. Well, now, because I'm going to go into the what's what happens live, and she talks about it, and she says, "Yes, I, Jody pays for half of my rent, plus his own house." Okay. So, this she looks like the cowardly lion. By the way, I watch what happens. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but she does. She's got new teeth. She's got new teeth. By the way, not the teeth. I don't know how much teeth are, but anyway. But <clears throat> so Logan's really cute. So she's like, um, you know, I had to work. You know, we were middle class. We didn't grow up like you. And he goes, like what? With lots of money? The kid is so freaking adorable. But um, I don't, I, and she's like, I worked at Dairy Queen. And she like named a bunch of places. I kind of worked at all those places too. I worked at Alder. I worked at Foot Locker. Hold on, just smoke. I worked at Foot Locker and it's cute. She made $7 an hour. So that means like she's way younger than me. Because <laughs> I was only making about $5 an hour when I was her age, that age. You know, in your 20s and your teens. In Jersey, it was 525. Minimum wage, you guys. 27 years ago or so. I'm trying to think. So, yeah, like 27 years ago. So, yeah, 27 years ago. 24 or 5 years ago. Yeah, man. Minimum wage was like, yeah, now it's like 16 or something. I don't I have no idea. I've been working so long. But, um, so she's like, <clears throat> I worked at Dairy Queen and, um, he's like, so why did you leave Dairy Queen? Why did you leave mom? And she's like, I don't know. Uh, like, I don't know, change careers. And he's like, I would have stayed with ice cream. At first, I thought she said she got fired. Or he said, how do you get, I thought he said, how do you get fired from um, scooping ice cream? And I was like, oh, he's just like Lenny. But he didn't. I had to listen to it a couple of times. He just said, um, 
you know, I would have stayed with the ice cream. And then she's like, I got a new, um, this was the cutest too, the cutest part too. Logan's like, or she's like, I got a new um, adventure. I'm starting a new business. He goes, yeah, mom, it's a perfume line called Lifer with a butterfly called something. And she's like, yeah, it was so adorable. He knew exactly what she was doing. Like this kid paid attention to what his mom was doing. And I thought it was the cutest thing in the world. Like it really does. Uh, so what does it say? Americans wear sucks. It does. In Canada, the ex-wife is given enough child support so they can do. I mean, that's kind of, it is kind of like that here, but not really. Not really. I mean, I don't know. My, my Like, I don't know. I was like, it didn't matter. My, I was so, I'm so old. So like, it doesn't matter. It's just so changed. Since then. They get, so what it is around here from what I understand, if the guy works, if the dude works, if the dad's got a job, um, they take 10%, I think, or so, or whatever, not 10% lying. I don't know what it is. Something like that. But I think it's like, I think the most thing is like 500 per kid a week here, which to me, I don't know. I mean, Lisa's was, getting, was only getting 8,000 a month from Lenny. Yeah, but so yeah, well, I'm going to show you the part where she talks about him paying half her rent. I mean, come on. Like, he, it's his choice though, she said. He does live there with her, but he has his house too. But uh, yeah. Oh, it's called Butterflies or something. I don't know. Anyway, Logan was adorable. He opened up his little bank account. He was, like, shaking the guy's hand. He's got glasses. This kid's adorable. You know, Lisa, I was saying something. I thought they, I was calling them, like, children. But they, she's raised some cute kids. I'm going to say, like, they're cute. They're not, like, Lenny. Like, they seem normal. You know, like, they don't understand. You know, like, when we get to the next part with Marcus, right? And and we talk about this again. Because if Sophia comes home, I forgot about that part. So Larsa and Marcus, Sophia comes home, which is Larsa and Scotty's daughter. She looks like she's in her 20s, right? Maybe 20? No. No. 17? I don't know. 17, maybe? I forget. 17-ish, right? She gets 2500 a month on her card, right? For, like, I guess for school. I think that's a lot, right? Like, but not for them, not for, like, Pippin money. So she's not really spoiled, right? So Marcus and Larsa, they're talking. They're eating Sophie, dinner with Sophie. And it looked, it looked like such a cute family. Now, I'm going to have to say now, side note again, on Watch What Happens Live, um, he talks about getting engaged with us in a year. So he is going to marry her. I'm going to eat my words because I said there's no way he's going to marry her because it's his first girlfriend. He's just having fun. But watching him with Sophie and, and Larsa is very calm. It was just the three of them. That's all he wanted to do is spend the summer with them, too. She's like, we're going to go on trips. And, and they're like, you know, what do you want to do the summer, Soph? And <clears throat> she's like, I just want to spend the time with my my family. And um, she's like, we can go on some trips. And Marcus is like, she's like, well, what do you want to do, Marcus? And Marcus is like, I'm right here. I'm fine right here. I want to be with you too. Sophie's home. We got, he's like, we have Sophie home. We were going to just spend the summer. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, he's like, really like, I'm, I'm, I mean, the only problem I have with her is her freaking goddamn holistic surgery. Because there is a scene where they look, Marisol goes back with her mother talking to Larsa, and I'm like, what the hell? That looks, it reminds me of 90 Day Fiance Stacy and Marcy Darcy, how they literally uh, like reshaped their faces. I'm not kidding you. Um, yeah. I can pull some side by sides up, but if you guys, I mean, I'm not going to even talk. I'll wait till later because, like, like, She's got a whole new face, and I don't get it because she's beautiful. Somewhere in the middle, oh, I'm a mirror. I, I mean, oh, you and I must have to. We're gonna have to break up. We are going to have to break up. Only because of Eddie. Only because of Eddie. Okay, I'm a mirror. We're good. We're just on a break. Okay, we're on a break. Frank Tang is always number one. Don't you know that? Frankie is always number one. But anyway, so we have them, and that's cute, okay? They're cute. Um, Marcus gets along with her thing, and in his confessional, he's like, I'm not going to be like a stepdad. I'm going to be like, you know, somebody they can look up to. So it's so cute. Like, you know, Larsa looks calm. I just wish she'd leave her face alone. Like, wow. Like, I don't know, man. Like, he talks about how, like, his lifestyle. Like, he, So Larsa goes, I don't think my kids are um, spoiled. And he goes, no, they're privileged, which is a good word for it. You know, because even with the 2500 a month, you know, he's like, oh, I'm privileged. I had a privileged life, man. I have a private jet. Like, I didn't even know what can, you know. So he's saying that, right? And he's like, but my kids, I'm not going to let my kids talking about, like, Sophie feel that way. Which, I mean, $2,500 a month for Pippin money is not a lot, right? So they're not real spoiled like that. 
of course, yes, they're privileged. They get, you know, they get to, you know, they get to do a lot of stuff. But um, yeah, I guess twenty five hundred is a lot. That is a lot of money, actually. I think about it. I mean, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> but I mean, hey, they got it. Like, but you know, what are you gonna do? Larsa's face looks bad. I, I'm, I'm like, man, like I, I know that she's. I don't. I really believe that Larsa lives unbe. She doesn't live above her means. I think she lives below her means, and I think she's she's real honest about that. Because I mean, she's got to get some money, right? Um, and even with his money, like they definitely don't, she, she lives below her means. So she's got a way, a right to say something to Lisa, like, look, girlfriend, like you're now depending on a man again. See what I'm saying? Not that I, we don't like Jody, not that Jody's not a great guy, but girlfriend, you just got out of a situation where like you're depending on Lenny, right? Driving his car. And we'll get to the part about the car guy, because guess what? It wasn't her mate's car. I don't know if you saw this clip already <clears throat> it's not the maid's car she lied larsa actually you called it but we're gonna get to that part because it pissed me off bad and it pissed a lot of the viewers off and i think andy should have cut that part out but that's all much what happens live like i said it was a continuation of the show last week uh, yeah so marcus blah 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 yeah marcus is great marcus is like i'm still trying to manage my money man he's probably got an endless supply of it so um, yeah, privileged. I like him. I like Sophie though. She's cute. She looks like a basketball player. She's very cute. Um, she looks like a definitely she looks like a young Larsa before Larsa fucked her face up. I mean, I didn't even oh that Eddie. Oh, that Eddie. Oh, I love you again. We're back to oh okay. That Eddie. I'm thinking of Tamara's Eddie. My bad. My bad. We're back together. Okay. Um Oh, oh my God! So at one point, the, um, the producers ask about the OnlyFans. Wait, but this is on Watch What Happens Live. This is Watch What Happens Live. I'm going ahead. I'm just telling you what happened because I'm going to get there. But they ask about what I'm not going to tell you the answer. So they asked them about Watch What Happens Live. I mean, about OnlyFans on Watch What Happens Live. They might have asked the producers. I'm not sure if the producers did. I probably dreamt that. I'm not sure. But um, the answer is uh, it's still popping. For Marcus. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot, we found out a lot, right? What breakup was hard? I know, I mean, especially since you're so far away, like, you can't show up at my window with a radio and, like, make me out of the window and, like, have, like, you know, candles lit with my name and stuff because you're so far away, you know? It was a hard breakup. It was rough. You know, I was trying to move on. I was trying to move on, but I just, you know, I just kept popping. I was like, oh, you know, but then I realized, oh, my God, you do love me. You know that time run that Eddie. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, it's good, good. Cause yeah, I love smiling Eddie. I love smiling Eddie. Anyway, so okay, now let's move on to Alexia because that's the part where that played Frankie. Love Frankie to death, obviously. Um <clears throat> Alexia, poor Alexia, okay. She's looking at this apartment, which is beautiful, it's huge. Um it's it's smaller than her other house, she says, but it's four, it's five thousand dollars, it's forty five thousand dollars a month. She's walking through it. Ted, Todd can't come because he's on a business. No, he's on a trip with his daughters. Good for him. You just got kicked out of your place, my dude. What are you doing? Maybe not go on a trip with your daughters and help your, your wife. But again, Alexia does need to find the exact, like, what's right for Frankie. But Todd should be there. Todd should be there. Okay. Um, I don't know. You're. I don't know why you're spending that much more on, you're spending that on a month on a house when like literally like you couldn't even, I don't know what happened with your, you didn't, that they, they definitely did not break your lease because they had to sell it. I think they broke their lease because they weren't paying. And I, I kind of believe that because that's kind of illegal. <laughs> like if you sell it, you can't really do that. You have to wait till the lease is up. I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> you know? So, and then to like really like kick them out at another certain point, I'm confused. And he said, I dropped the ball and stuff on it. So, like, what happened? Did you drop the ball, dude? Or did you know about this for months because you weren't paying? Like, he said that in a confessional or said that to her. And it's like, again, I, I don't like her being, like, I'm exposing her. It's none of her goddamn business because that's not what that lunch with Lisa was about. <clears throat> but I feel bad that Todd, at least, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, Alexia seems to not know, like, what's going on in her life because... I mean, did they really? I don't know. Maybe she's just not telling us. I don't know. Maybe she does know. But, you know, producers, uh, what did they say? Like, say how she felt about doing it by herself. 
Um, Frankie doesn't like any of the bedrooms. They're very, they're too small. I actually don't like the balcony with him. I agree. He's adorable. Didn't he look cute? And he's like, I know. He's like, nope, too small. Nope. But again, I don't like the balcony and I don't like him not having, I, I don't like him having a bathtub. I agree with Alexia. And I do feel like, I mean, she's got to be a little picky because I feel like they should have a door, you know, a doorman and like, you know, a lobby and stuff because of how he can get, you know, he's very safe. Which this is what sucks. I always want to cry when Alexia's confessional was saying how this kind of transition can regress him. Okay. So to me, I'm like, that's even more of a reason for this people never to break that lease for her. Like just, you don't just sell it like that when you have a child with special needs or whatever, but she said this kind of change can regress him. And that made me sad. So I'm just like, what are you doing then? Why are you, uh, she's not telling us something or she's not asking all the questions, you know? But yeah, it was cute that he did that. And it's like, but again, like she's, what if he doesn't want that room? What if he does not? And I don't, I guess they're going to find something else. because I definitely don't like 45,000 a month. Um, that's what I'm saying. And if they can't find anything, they don't need that much freaking room. Listen, that freaking whole like uh, living room part was way bigger than all the bedrooms. So they can just maybe like move. I don't know, condense that kind and find something with bigger bedrooms. I don't know. I definitely don't like the balcony for them. And I'm, I agree. I don't think there should be a balcony. I don't think you should have a tub. I think they need to find something else. But she's complaining about the size of that one. And that was $5,000 more a month. You don't need to be on the beach. I'm confused. But Again, I don't know how Miami is. I'm surprised that she's going to spend that much money. I don't think that's, it's rent. You're not buying it. Well, I mean, imagine what you, it, it, my God, imagine, that's, that's a lot of money. That's millions for something you don't own. What does he do it? He guess exactly, exactly. Why is he exactly when she said it? And I was like, it, it is a change for him, especially with how good he's doing, where he's at. He's in, a, you know what I mean? Like, this poor kid has to be uprooted. And this motherfucker's out with his kids. He's out on a trip with his daughters while she's dealing with this shit. I'm like, I don't like him. He's minding me. My, I'm telling you, he's reminding me more and more of Louie, more and more of Louie. Like, you already lost your money, like, one time. Like, I am, I'm confused. Like, she's got more of a responsibility. So, yeah, she needs to find the place. But he needs to be home with her. Like, and he needs to not lose the place. So, this, so Frankie doesn't have to go through this. They're going to end up living with Peter. Watch. You know? It's a shame. You know? It's like $45,000 a month. I'm just so confused. I had a whole, I'm on a whole rant about that. So, yeah. So, the Marisol lunch, right? I'm going to drop the link in a minute. So the Marisol lunch, right? Um, it's cute. I'm like, wow, she's giving away all this stuff. She's giving all them stuff, right? A bag of like, I don't know, like jewelry and like makeup and like clothes and like, I don't know, sarongs. I don't know what it was. It was a lot of stuff. Stuff they could try on. Like, so I knew it was clothes. So again, why is Adrian out of there? Yes, exactly. His vacant, yeah, exactly. Sell your daughter's look. I have another responsibility when I married Alexia not to make this this young man's life any harder than it is. Um, I, I'm the one who dropped the ball. He says he dropped the ball. You have a responsibility not to drop the ball, Todd. Like, what are you doing? Like dropping the ball is basically what you did to her this season. So the event, anyway, they're all there, I, you know, besides Julia yet, Julia's not there. Um, <clears throat> and Adrian is not there. And I'm like, what kind of, like, she's, I don't know what she's, I, I love what she's doing. I don't know what I'm kind of confused with her. With the product is, but hey, shit, I'm you know, but Adrian to come there and and get her get a bunch of gifts when Nicole's not invited. Like Nicole, if anything, should be there too, or neither one of them at this point. Like I understand why you don't want her there because you think that she's the one who who brought or had the knowledge of Anna. But guess what? Adriana brought Anna, so Adriana was her plus one. Why are we not saying it's Adriana? Why was out of here? What, what were you thinking? Like. She doesn't like me. She called me dead. Why, Adriana, are you bringing her? You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Hey, Kel oh, my God. This girl right here, Kelly Beverly, my first best friend in kindergarten all the way up till now. Like, she lives in Texas, though. But, uh, like, why do you always show up when I need you to? That is crazy that you just showed up here right now. <clears throat> How did you know? Like, oh, my God. All right, I'm not going to take your phone. It's like telepathy. Um, I have pictures of us when we were, like, in kindergarten. 
Hey, Kel, love you. So I don't know if you watch Miami or just here, but I love you for being here. But um, yeah, so all kinds of makeup and jewelry and stuff, right? So she's like, you guys can get whatever you want. And I was like, you know, I'm not mad at Marisol anymore. I'm really not mad at her for last season. I'm not mad at her for being um, mean to Adriana. Because guess what? Now Adriana, she has made everything about herself. And again, her Adriana's reasoning. Now, before she even gets there, her entire reasoning. Because first, I want to talk about uh, Lisa in the car thing. Because she admits this when watch it up inside. First of all, we're going to talk about Adriana. The fact she admits that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Her confessional when she gets there. Or before she even gets there, she's like, you know, um, no, what part am I talking about? All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if Julie gets there first. Julie gets there first. Oh, yeah. Julie gets there first. Okay. So Julia walks in, right? So Marisol's telling everybody how they can, like, sit down. So Julia's late. Adrian is late. Julia walks in. Julia's welcome to this weird ass look on her face, this, like, smiley look on her face, like, I don't know. And then, and then it's again, they look like they were like acting. They're like, what is wrong with you? But she walks in with this weird smiley look on her face. Cause she's like, I got to tell them something. I got to tell them something. I gotta tell them something. Right. And she's like, hi everyone. And like, it just was so strange. And she had this like nervous, like creepy, like hello smile, Julia. Right. And she's like, I got to tell you guys something. And like, she starts to say it and here walks Adriana. And I'm like, so they all be quiet. Right. So Kiki's even like, Kiki's like, what is wrong with her? Like, they're all like looking at Julia all weird. So Adriana walks in and she realizes that she's allowed to get all this free shit from, from this, this event that Marisol has. So in the confessional, know what she says, this bitch says, this bitch goes quietly to herself. Oh, look at her marketing, calling all her marketing people, trying to buy her friends. Like, wait a minute. What? I'm like, Wow, like you bitch, like you should not even be there, Adriana. Her confessional is like, oh, she's trying to buy us. Like, bitch, put your shit down and go. Like, I, I mean, nobody heard her, obviously. It was a confessional, right? It's like, wow, okay. <laughs> so Julia can't say anything again because Adriana walks in, which is so strange to me. So everybody sits down. Kiki's like, why isn't Nicole here? Kiki's like, why isn't Nicole here? Why isn't Nicole here? They're sitting down to eat and they have all their stuff. And Adriana's sitting there and Adriana looks like really strange. She has this very strange look on her face. I don't know. Like she just looks weird, like sweaty or stressed. I don't know. But so they're talking about like, oh, we didn't invite her because of what happened at Mother's Day brunch. And um, somebody's like, well, you know, she shouldn't be punished and something like that. And all of a sudden, Alexi is like, as she should, as she should, like screaming about Alexi or about Nicole being punished or not being there or like. I don't know, like nothing to Adriana, nothing at all. Like Adriana's sitting there with this dumb look on her face, right? So then Julia, so they're arguing about why Nicole should be there or not should be there. I don't, I couldn't really hear. They're getting loud about it. Julia's like, everybody be quiet. Like she shuts everybody up. Well, they don't really get that quiet because all of a sudden Adriana starts like kicking Julia under the table and she's like, don't you dare, don't you dare. Like basically I'm telling her, don't tell her. And I'm like, like, are you guys not seeing this? Like, um, Julia, either say something or tell this girl to say something. So then, as she sits there with this weird look on her face, like, basically threatening Julia with her eyes, you better not tell. You better not tell. It's like, no, no, no. Nicole's not getting all this heat. You should not be getting this free shit because I can't wait till they say the confessional about you talking shit. Um, so all of a sudden, <laughs> um, like, Lars is like, Oh, I forgot. Larsa's not there. Larsa's sick. So Larsa wasn't there. So Adriana's like, listen, guys, I have something to say, which is like strange because we already knew this, right? So she's like, I'm the one who um, brought, Ad I'm the one who asked Nicole if I could bring Anna. All she did was say what we already knew. She copped to that part, right? And it's like, she's like, I'm the one who wanted her to come there and all of a sudden, this conversation, I don't know how this gets flipped upside down. We're talking about the Mother's Day brunch, right? I forgot Lisa shows up. Lisa shows up, right? Lisa shows up to the thing. Lisa Hoxie. So she sits down. I don't know like what her problem is, but she's just sitting there. And I don't know how this whole conversation, the thing, everything gets right flipped upside down. But, um, wait, hold on. What part of my uh, confessional? I don't know. Oh, Lisa. So, Somehow the conversation goes from I brought I was going to bring her because um Lisa, you guys were going at Lisa for 
spending so much money. Oh, that's at least under the chat. Lisa spent so much money. Um, and I was going to bring her something. I got, I got all flipped around, but like Adriana saying about like, why are you, I was going to bring Anna because Lisa, you were going after Lisa about her finances and you shouldn't have. And like, I don't know something about Alexia. And then and Lisa's like, yeah, you were like talking shit on me. You were saying that like, and they're all like yelling at, at Alexia. And I'm like, I'm all like, I'm really confused guys. So I'm like, it's just all this hot conversation. So Lisa's under the impression that she can be a bitch today. Right. Poor Gertie sitting at the end of the table anyway. Or Gertie is like waiting for the truth to come out. So all of these arguments, it's Lisa yelling at Julia or something. They're all yelling about how like they're not, they're ignoring poor Gertie and how the fact that she's sick. And Lisa's got this big like cocky look on her face. Like you were talking shit on my finances and you should have never brought up my finances and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and I, you're all, you're the whole reason I went and got that car. And then Alexa and then, Adriana's like, yeah, and you know what, Alexi, and you too, you and Todd, what's up with you and Todd, your finances or something like that. And Lisa's like, you know, you shouldn't have been talking shit on my, I mean, they're like, everybody's like, Lisa, this this entire thing was tough love to you. So for Adriana to turn it around and make it seem like Alexia was talking shit to, to Lisa, like she's, you know, like you shouldn't be spending what you're spending or she's basically get a different car because you're getting accused of putting a thing in it. It gets all flipped upside down where like Lisa's is under the impression that everybody was like, she's right. Everybody else is wrong and that they should never bring up all this stuff. And she's screaming and yelling. And she looks like the cowardly lion. Um, Adriana is saying, you know, Alexia, you, you're wrong too. You should never, but I don't know. Like, it, and nobody like seems to like want to straighten it out. But so I'm like, because Alexia is talking, I don't know. She equates this to that. So then Gertie, poor Gertie is sitting there and she's like going in and out as they're all screaming about what happened at the Miami thing at, at Lisa's thing, how they all went after her about her mothering, after her about the car she drives, after her about her finances, which that's not what the thing was. And now I guess somehow Adrian is like, you know, um, you should have never did that to Lisa. And then Lisa's like, yeah, you should have never did that to me. And, and and then, you know, Alexia's like, I can't believe that you would like literally turn this whole thing around. And all of a sudden, in the middle of all this, nobody still has like I have yet to take responsibility away from Adriana. Um, Gertie stands up and she's like, I gotta go, I gotta go. And she's upset and she says, Listen, guys, I lied to you. I'm not really well. I have to get another surgery. And that just basically should have shut Lisa up. Well, I'm sorry, before Gertie says that, Lisa kind of tells her, Don't yell at me. Lisa's got balls. Like Lisa shows up with some kind of balls. I don't know where they came from. But she's like thinking that she has this whole thing figured out. And they should have never went after her. They should have, they were not going after her. It was tough love. And we all know that they were literally trying to explain to her like, Oh, she says to Julia about having more than one dad. Oh my God. Her kids have more than one father. So that happens. So you have Lisa basically telling Gertie, don't yell at me before Gertie tells her she has to get another surgery. And Lisa's like, Oh, I mean, well, fine. Like, I don't know where it comes from Lisa, but, or who in the hell lied to you? But they were right at that dinner. You were wrong. They were trying to be your friend. Maybe they shouldn't have brought up the ten thousand dollars thing a month. I don't know. Whatever. Like you know, that's up. That's that's you know, the fact that they literally turn this around and make it look like Alexia's Alexia's finances should be exposed because that's what she was trying to do to Lisa, which that's not what was happening. She's acting very strange. Very strange. Watch what happens live was a weird. Listen. You should have seen when she said, talked about the car and watch what happens live, guys. I mean, her teeth, she first of all, she talks shit on Katarina's teeth. Te Whatever, I don't care. I know she's a mistress, but you, your teeth will give even worse. <clears throat> um, but it doesn't make any sense. Like them yelling and all that crap, Gertie gets up and leaves. Well, again, I guess it's good that Lexi, Alexia and um, um, Julia walk out, Gertie. So as they're walking, Gertie's like, you better make this right. You better make this right. Like fix it. It's not Lisa's fault. Like, or it's not Nicole's fault. I'm sorry. And it's like, it's crazy because like, I'm sitting there watching. I'm like, this could be so cleared up. Like, I, I mean, you know, Adriana should not be there. Adriana one is the one who literally was her, like brought her, wanted to bring her. She's the plus one. She's got to go. Or just like, I don't know, like, don't make, don't make problems. You're making problems, Adriana. And like Julia, I'm sorry. And Gertie doesn't need it. And you know. It wasn't going to make Lisa um, happy. It wasn't supposed to be another day for Lisa. If you're going to expose somebody else, she's all, you know, I can, she's all asshole. I don't know.
she's acting like an asshole to everybody. And you're right. I think she's medicated. I think she definitely is like that dinner was weird. Like she, I want to say it again, she looks like cowardly lion. I know that's mean, but like, you know, she literally said to Julia, you have different dad. Like talking about her having different fathers for her kids. I didn't know that. I don't really care what it's got to do with anything. All of that does not re- like want like the reaction. What they'd said to her in Palm Beach was not is not valid. Like whatever she this all of this like going back and you know trying to make you know Alexia. Yeah, we want to know what's going on with Alexia and Todd, but it's not because of what she was saying to Lisa. That's that's like totally two different things. You know, yes, it, two things can be true. Okay, maybe she is having money problems with Todd, but also Lisa should not be spending that kind of money. And she shouldn't be driving a car if she's going to get accused of all that, right? But guess what, guys? Lars just said something about, you know, I don't think it's the maid's car. And she's like, I think that she got that car taken away from her. And I was like, you think she's lying? And that poor about the poor maid, right? So well, I know I'm jumping ahead, but like at that dinner, like she said a lot of offensive things that like she said about stuff about the Julia. She basically was like, you know, she didn't even walk past. She didn't go after Gertie. After she yelled at Gertie and Gertie said, I have to get another surgery. Lisa just sat there. So, you know, she's exactly, it doesn't make sense. Like very disappointing. Like, it's like, wait a minute. And did you see Adriana at the dinner too? Her face looked odd. Like her face looked strange when she was like, yelling at Julia to not like say anything. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, let me know if you guys want me to drop in a call. Like, I don't know if it's a call, but, um, yeah, so Gertie tells everybody to make it right. And Lisa's like, I can clear out a room or something like that. And it's like, at this point, like, you know, I don't even know if the actual whole truth about like Anna was coming out. I don't know. Everybody was screaming at each other. So I guess, but I guess we'll have to wait till next week. But like, so that was the end of that. But I mean, it's like, at this point, I think it's very toxic for Gertie to even be there. Um, the way they act is just not normal. Like either if they're acting or they're just like, you know, conveniently forgetting that Nicole and Adriana were with them. It's just strange. They never give her a pass. Why they give Adriana a pass? Why is she allowed to have things and items and go to this event that's that Marisol doesn't allow to like take things and have gifts and like because she literally is the one who brought Anna. So why wouldn't like Nicole be there too? You know? But so uh, so at least since our song, I'll watch what happens live. Ugh. Um, first of all, I keep saying about my, about, about, about Lars's face. Okay. Marcus and Jody were behind the bar. I don't know if I'm allowed to play it. I'm probably not allowed to play it. So I'm not going to pull it up, but they were behind the bar and there's a lot that was interesting. Um, so yeah, basically there were still a lot of questions about Larsa and Marcus. They're definitely living together at this point. Um, they're going to get engaged with us within less than a year. Um, she, um, yeah, and Jody and Lisa are living together. He pays half of her rent, but he still has his own place. She got a place. He's paying half the rent. Again, that's a problem because now, like, you're you, you're living with another guy. She can't afford it, she said, without him. And it's like, wow, so you got another place where, like, you can't afford it without Jody. It's very disappointing. And, you know, she got new teeth. It's just, it just... I'm just going to show you real quick. It's crazy looking. And she looks crazy, guys. Like, she looks crazy and Watch It Happens Live. I just, I was like, wow, um, you look awful. <laughs> you look crazy. You look hella nuts. Okay. We'll just put this part on. Okay, let me just pull this part up. So. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, let me share real quick. It's just a little bit of part the about the um, thing, but I just want you to see what it looks like. I'll probably not have to play it that long. Um, uh, sure uh, I want to hit play it because I'm not sure how I'm supposed to play it. Um, all right. She looks crazy. Let 
play. Her son to budget his money. That was tonight. We're gonna give Lisa an unlimited Lenny, Lenny limit. In a Lenny for your to run through a speed round of questions relating to everything that's going on because I want to hear what you have to say, Lisa Hochstein. Uh, why do you feel Lenny is so hell bent on dragging out the divorce process instead of working quickly to end it? Look how we're gonna wrap it. No, I want this. I like, want you want it over. I want it to be over. Yeah. I'm in such a great place. No, no, no. no. I'm happy. I want no, crazy him to be happy. I really hope that one day we can be amicable. Like for my kids. Like, how reaction to Lenny posting your DMs online uh, that accuse you of having an affair? <laughs> Completely false. Any truth to the rumor that you were tracking Lenny's car? Yes. Uh, <laughs> what did you spend? What did you thing. spend ten thousand dollars on? I want to get that. That was that was an inaccurate. Yeah, inaccurate i don't even know if it's emotion i can't remember there's so many she emotions this up like that. Right. 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 but uh that was an inaccurate it it's not uh, accurate. Or, okay it's not accurate. um your current living situation yes, are you moved you. out of the star island home yet? i am you are uh and where are you living listen um i don't want to tell people right of course address, yes okay but... i understand okay uh are you living with jody yeah, Adriana's old house. So he still has. <laughs> okay. You're home. still there. He still okay. has a beautiful waterfront, yes. an amazing house. Yeah, it's beautiful. But I, he stays with me. And he pays for see. Well, he pays for almost half my rent. Oh wow. wow. Because he's a very nice, Jody. You're a good guy. Like, seriously. Um, <laughs> Okay. Do you have any okay. idea if Lenny and his new fiance have set a date for their wedding yet? All right. No clue. Don't care. So there's a part, okay, so this is what she says about the maid, okay? This is very disappointing and very disgusting. I wish I had to pull it up, but she says, hey, reality comes to her. Hey. Um, so he asks, so he goes, hey, so the fans want to know if you've apologized to your maid about using her car um, and, you know, like clowning it, you know, basically like embarrassing with, with their car. You know what she says? She goes, oh, um... Actually, I made that part up. I rented that car, and she goes completely. But she's like, and I blamed it on the maid. I just said that, and she's like, because the women were coming at me about immediately starting like, and 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 Andy goes, ah, uh, that wasn't any better, and he just literally moved right on. She basically did. She said that. I'm like, and and and, and like Andy had to move on. He was like, oh my god, like she just fucked herself, like. You just like I don't know if there's a thing called car shaming, but like you don't you don't sort of you don't make any sense. You rented that car. You why would you rent a car when you have one to drive? So I think Lenny took her car from her, <laughs> and she made that whole shit up. Like and I don't think she rented it. It doesn't make any sense. Take an Uber, bitch. What do you mean? Like like I don't get it. Like you rented that car to prove a point, and nobody said that you had to drive. Like. Nobody told you that they just said, dude, if you can't afford a car, go get something cheaper. Like, so she completely like fucks that all up. And it just, it was really disgusting. Like she did herself no favors on Watch What Happens Live. Lisa, the only, I mean, and Lars said the only thing, her and Marcus look happy as can be. They get like 90% between, they said he was going to stay together longer. They said Larsa and Marcus, I think they're all going to stay together actually. The fact that she said, though, like, it's the maid's car and you guys are trying to make me look like I should drive a cheap car like that. Like, you know what she was trying to do. She was, they completely lost. So, like, Adriana and her completely missed that entire tough love dinner they had with Lisa. Tough love talk. That's what it was. It was tough love and they were right. And you know what? Larsa was right for not saying nothing because what? Lisa doesn't get it. She doesn't understand. She doesn't listen. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't understand that part. So it's like, Lisa, you took that as a complete, like, attack on you, and it was not an attack. It was trying to tell you that literally Lenny is accusing you of putting, of, of recording the car, stop driving it while you're driving it. And then she's like, if you can't, you know, if you're going to make for your safety, like, you're, he's literally dragging your kids out down the hallway. Like, what, like, girl, like, what are you, they're trying to be your friend. And she makes this whole thing about a maid and this poor car. Hey, baby lovers, I'm in my son. This whole thing about a maid in a car, it's 109. 109 is my angel number. I just looked at the time. I needed to see that today, too. So I'm having a rough, really, really rough, rough, rough one. So I'm going to let this, I'm going to end this soon. Um, but yeah, so she borrowed the house. Over. She says, she says that she borrowed it. She basically rented it, which I think is a whole lie, too. Like, so now she's like three different lies about why she was driving that car that day. And she was car shaming. Is what she was doing, but they weren't car shaming her. That's what she took it as. 
So then she makes up something about the maid. Like that car was like really bad. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I still don't understand. I'm pissed. I don't want to know. It's like Black Eye Gate. Now I don't give a shit anymore. I'm mad at you for even doing it. But um, yeah, so it's crazy. So her financial status, like it just they talked about a lot of stuff. Um, oh, and then oh god, they had a thing about um threesome. Um, so they like, um, at least if you ever had a threesome, or would you ever? She's like, Yeah. So her and Judy both say they would have a threesome. Um, didn't I get you in trouble the first marriage? Marcus and Larson said, absolutely not. They're gonna get they're getting married in less than a year. They're never gonna have a threesome. And Andy's like, I that good for you. We agree that like the audience agreed, the polls agreed. Basically, Jody and her saying they'll have enough, they would have a threesome was kind of weird. I was like, what? That, that got you in trouble with the first husband. I don't know why would you do that again. And Jody doesn't look like he would have threesomes. I'm just saying, I don't know what she's talking about. She's an asshole. I was like, oh god. Oh, they asked her about OnlyFans. She said it's, she slows it down. Marcus goes, no, it's 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 pumping or something like that. So he's cool with her having OnlyFans. I'm okay with the relationship now. Her face looks completely different, completely different every year, every season. Hey, and um, yeah, I'm very she's so shallow, and then she just completely missed it. And then you know, Adriana missed the entire point too. Like nobody, listen, you need to just sit the hell down. Because nobody likes you to begin with, Adriana. You're lucky that you slid right in on a Marisol's ship because you don't deserve to have any of those gifts that you said she's trying to buy you with. If they're, you're literally bringing some chick to expose her best friend. Um, what are you going to do when they see the confessional? And the truth. And listen, I don't know about Nicole. I'm not on her side either, okay? I'm not. Whose side am I on? Whose fault is it? Both of theirs. The polls are 50-50. Because I still want them to, I want somebody to say, Nicole, did you know that she was going to expose Alexi and Todd? Not that she knew she was coming, because we already know that. Did she, so did she know that? If Nicole didn't know that, then I'm on Nicole's side, obviously. But the ladies are being weird about it. Why are you like, you never like Adriana. So like, why just tell her to beat it? Like, why does she get to be there? It doesn't make any sense. Like, no, she doesn't get to be there. And I hope that God Kiki gets in a, they need to make Kiki's event great. Like, they need to show up for her because and we're all finally on the same side. See? But do you agree that Nicole should have either asked questions or somebody say, Nicole, like, did you know or not about the exposure of Alexi and Todd? Not that she was coming. We know that she knew she was coming. She had to make her a sign. You know, she had to make her a shirt. So we we all know. We're all in the know. Okay, we're all agreeing in agreement that Alexia, I mean, I'm sorry. Then Nicole and Adriana both knew Anna was coming. That is it. That's all. And then Adriana is the one who's supposed to expose everything. We don't know if Nicole knew that yet. But, um, I mean, why would she not ask, why does this girl want to be here? <laughs> she wants to be a housewife? No. Like, Bravo also has to, like, really kind of approve another housewife to be there, I think. So, Bravo is kind of being messy, too. Because, <laughs> you know, Bravo is not going to, like, be like, she was already fired, like, once. But they need Anna to have a friend because I think Julia, Julia is weird. She needs to be done with Adriana because Julia acts very strange. I don't know. Like, again, Adriana, thank God. Like, you, you don't make any sense because, again, you're also seeing things wrong, too. Everything's not about you. Julia was not coming at you trying to tell you the truth that you need to tell the truth. That's not taking her side. That's literally taking your side and being on, like, telling you, yo, like, stop what you're doing. These girls don't like you. Like, if you want them to like you, stop being messy. But you deserve it now. You tried to bring a, a whole old-ass chick there to expose one of them. One of the force multipliers in the whole entire show. Wrong one, Adriana. <laughs> like, and if you really think that, like, why don't you talk shit? If you heard it, why don't you say, Adriana, why do you need Adam to say it? Like, what do you think you're going to get out of it? Like, and, and again, like. I don't know, like, you're you're being all messy and shit. Like, you just look like a little snitch. Like, you just look like... They're not going to be your friend after this. Not when you go digging up dirt, trying to bring people there to, like, expose their money issues, which it seems like they're having them, but we don't need some added chick to come there and do it. We need Nicole to stay out of it because you're a bad actress. I just feel like she knew. Like, she's like, oh, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. It's like, you're not, you're not, listen... Teddy Mellencamp. Knock it off. <laughs> you can't. You're not a mean girl. You try to be one. You know, you're just not. You're not a good actress. Stop it. 
I don't want, yeah, like, I don't want her to be the messy. I don't want her to be okay with Anna coming. Right. Like, why? I don't know. She's better than that. You're right. She's more intelligent than, than if you're going to have a, like a nice redo breakfast or brunch for some of your friends. Why are you letting some old ass chick out here? Not old as an age, but like old as and not been on the show in five, five or 10 years, like 10 years. Think in your head, like Nicole, like, come on. It's not going to end well. At least it's already saying everything wrong anyway. Like, you know, Lisa gets this redo dinner, but it's not really because Lisa thinks she's she's coming in there all hot back there. Just like she came in hot at Marisol's. Bitch, go home. <laughs> like, bye. I don't know. I'm like, Lisa, you can go. Adriana, you can go too. Like, because, like, we stop coming in hot. Like, poor Gertie deserved to have it nice. Get a bunch of, like, free shit, some bunch of makeup, and, like, just have a peaceful lunch. But no, you got Lisa wanting to fight people almost. You got like, it was nuts. It was crazy. And then she doubles and she just looks like the cowardly lion on the Watch What Happens Live show with this fucking piece of leather on. Like, yeah, you're hot. Not really anymore. Your teeth are too big. You made fun of Katarina's teeth. So you got bad teeth too. I'm just saying. I wouldn't have said anything about her looks if she didn't start on poor Kat. And I'm not saying that Katarina is like perfect. She's a piece of shit, obviously. But like, like, I don't know, Lisa. I would have left your ass, too. You're so annoying. Like, I, I see why Lenny don't like her. Like, I just... Oh, like, I don't like her at all. Like, I don't even like her at all. I don't like her at all. I don't like her as a wife. I don't like her as a friend. I don't really like her as a person. I just feel like she's just too... Like, shallow. Like, she's just not my... I would have a lot of fights with that girl if she was my friend. We would be fighting all the time. Like, you don't get it. You don't get it. Like, you just don't get it. You don't get it. The only smart thing she did was not leaving him first, letting him mess up because of the prenup, you know, the poet. Oh, my God. Like, what in the world? Like, again, um, if you have to hire a poet to make things, to say nice things about the girls, why are we? This is we're getting to the point where we're making things up to get them all together because they don't want to hang out in real life. Think about it. That's when the housewives get so toxic in their group. Do they have to make up events for all of them to get together and they have to make up a game to make them fight, to create drama. It's happening. And I'm like, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. We're going to go back to where we were, where we were all rallying around each other. We like to hang out. This is not turning into some toxic shit where we, like, people just get away with, like, no, we don't need a poet. We need our Miami back. But what have I been saying? All the other franchises need to take a book, a page out of Miami's book because they rallied around Lisa at first. Like, and they still do. Like, but they can't really help her at this point. She's, I mean, she's on, she's, she's doing what she's doing, but you know, they tried. It was, she was like not hearing it. She was mean, man. Lisa's like, no, no. And they're like, Lisa, she's like, no, it's my feeling. And I'm like, oh my God, like, relax, chill, bro. Like, whoa. But anyway, guys, I'm hungry. It's Monday. I've, it's, I, you know, guys had a rough day this week and it's not getting any better. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I am beside myself at this point, and I am very forcing myself to be here. Um, so, a happy Martin Luther King Day, guys! By the way, I appreciate everybody even showing up today. I love you. And um, Wednesday is going to be Salt Lake because guess what? It's the reunion part two, and they need to save my energy. Yeah, she's too smart. Like she's too smart to act like that. Like. Like, she's not a good actress, right? Neither is Teddy Mellencamp. Oh, I said her name. Freddie Hellencamp. Acting, like, mean to, to Denise. Like, what are you trying? Like, you're not a mean girl. Neither is Kyle. Like, it doesn't look right when you act that way. And then when you act like you don't know and you're better, it's like, no, Nicole. No, no, Nicole. Like, you worked hard to get into this friendship group and it made them trust you. Don't be fucking up now. Because Alexia said, now I can't trust you, which uh, I agree. <laughs> You're telling Alexia, I don't care. I don't know. I'm too busy to find out was if she hurt you or not. Like, no, then we're not friends. Sorry. Then I, I, I then no, you will not come into my events. But we need to get back to the point where like they want to hang out with each other. Okay. Judgey Cat, are you okay? She's on my butt all day. <clears throat> we'll see. Thank you. Lesson learned, guys. Lesson learned. Again. But I love you all, and um, yeah, thank you for chilling up. And yeah, I might have my I won't have my couch, but I'm waiting for my new couch to get here, and I'll be on the other wall, and a new sign. And I'm kind of glad it didn't come today because I'm just my head's not here. But I was like, I really like it was a filler episode for Miami. 
will save my energy for Salt Lake. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the DMs. Oh my god, hi Instagram. You guys still going over there? Everybody that showed up over there, hey guys. I I can't see your comments, but thanks for joining. Well, I love you. Thanks for joining. And I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And live on all of the um things. And I always hook the links out. And um, yeah, so it'll be what listen, what is okay, so we have Salt Lake, but after the reunion, we still have a couple, I think. I think there's 23 episodes of, of Beverly Hills, right? I don't know how many more. So after Salt Lake, please, what's next after Salt Lake? And if you tell me the other, what, what I think you're going to tell me, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Because what am I going to cover on Wednesdays if it's the other show? Maybe I can do Southern Hospitality or something. I just can't. If it's Jersey that's starting after Salt Lake, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to cover it. So it might, maybe I'll do like, find something for me to cover on Wednesday, guys. Because I'm not doing uh, Jersey. So I get we have two more weeks of like Salt Lake. And then I got to figure out what I'm doing on Wednesdays. And I know we have a long. I know like. So, man Beverly Hills gets a lot of episodes. Way more than like. The other franchise. And you know why? No I'm not doing New Jersey. I just. I'm not doing it. Because I can't. I can't hold my. my like my temper. It's just I can't. I get too because I get so mad about it like, because I'm like so mad that I don't like it. Just they don't make any sense to. It doesn't make any sense. Listen, unless there's like some new like fresh stuff going on, which there isn't. I can't. He triggers me too much. He triggers me too much. You know, like you know, a red lobster dancing around in those pajamas is a problem. That's a problem for me when you're a lobster dancing around in those pajamas and you just won't go away. <laughs> you just won't go away. And I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch her. I already know what's going on. I don't want to watch her life go down the drains and her lose everybody. You know? Like, it's a shame. It's so sad. And I can't wait for Dana to, like... Did you guys watch Dana Wilkie and Kim D by any chance? And Dana basically was, like... I don't want to say debunking everything Kim was saying. But even she should not be talking about it. She's afraid to talk about Loki. Because why would you literally? I am allergic to shellfish. <laughs> I am actually. <gasps> I am allergic to shellfish. That is the funniest thing. How did I not think of that? You are amazing. I am allergic to shellfish. That's why I can't do it. I love you so much. You are the fucking bomb. Yes. Yes. And. She wants. He wants them to get rid of. She. He wants. He wants to take over for Melissa Feaster. He now no, no longer now Melissa is a problem. All of a sudden now, and now I guess Melissa's allergic. I'm allergic to shellfish. I can't. I shouldn't even be saying it. Oh my god, that's the funniest thing. I am. Oh my god, I need to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> but I mean, I am in real life. Like that's the funniest thing ever. Literally, I. I. I seriously. It, like, wait. Do you, do you see what happens to me when I start? When I get near it, I get all red. I start to can't breathe. I start cursing. It's like I get like Tourette's with this thing. And I don't need them coming after me. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I'm allergic to them. I don't need it. I'll be good. I'm a lovey from afar. Yeah, man. Like, it's like, if, okay. Like, if, the, if those two people are now out of her, go out, out of her life because he said so, you mean to tell me? That these people, everybody that thinks that he is still a good guy, all seven of the most important people in her life, go on, severed. He said, nope, I'm better than that. And you know what? I'm not even, I can't even say, I mean, I'm going to let Dana talk about this. You know, what do you think? He's going to like stop it juicy? <laughs> That's all she's got left. And her girls. You don't think he's going to try to do something, get him locked up or some shit? I'm not kidding, dude. I'm scared of him and he's a dangerous, he's a dangerous, he's a weirdo. And you know, Jersey has been poisoned. And I'm literally knowing like just watching people defend him. I can't do it. I just can't cover it for that reason. I mean, just watching it from the outside, just just if you don't know anything at all, like, you don't have to know anything. Just see, just look on the outside looking in. Like it's not the common denominator. There's seven or eight people. I, I, like how do you not like? Uh, I don't know. I feel like they know that they can't. 
do anything. They got to, if they got to, you know, it's a job they got to do from the inside. It's an inside job at this point. She's never going to leave him. It, she's never going to leave him. It's going to have to be like his intervention or something, or like, I don't know. He's going to have to go. It's going to end up very badly. Like, it, like you can't just lose everyone. Like, I'm like, what? And only have his family. You don't know these people. They seem happy. Oh yeah. They seem so happy. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they seem happy because he makes her make sure she's happy. He's her manager. She's got to work. Like, I thought you were going to retire. I'm so confused. Like, I'm still waiting for him to retire. And nobody was going for her seat. Nobody. You didn't have to sever all of the cast. For, let's not forget the cast relationships, guys. Okay? It's not just the seven most important people in her life. It's also the cast that he severed those friendships. So. You know what? They're good together. Why? Because they're with criminals. I mean, listen, fine. They, listen. Okay, great. If that's what you want and as you're happy, that's fine. Nobody's bothering you. Leave everybody alone then. Nobody wants to film with you. You made that. You made that. You made it that way. Okay. You made it so nobody can be around you. She's only got you. Nobody wants to watch. We're not there to watch just them and their family and his family. His family don't like they're they're just as bad as he is. Like it's crazy. So she's got no parents. She's got no family. No best friends, like they're all gone. Her hairdresser, um, her lawyer, her co-host, <laughs> and and he, and we're still gonna say that he's not. She's not in danger, and he's a good guy. You're exactly. Move on. That's the thing. I mean, but it's getting worse. When I found out about that Tim too, him trying to sever those two relationships, I'm like, well, guys, now, now, now we've now now we're at the point where it's like. Exactly. And how do you let that like oh she I'm sorry, by the time I'm telling you, don't be mad at me to Teresa. Anybody Teresa fans get mad at me all you want. Like, but I watching her wedding, I don't know how she could have been happy that day. By that time, he has screamed in her face that he will not share air or water with Joe Gorga. And she's crying because she wants Joey to walk her down the aisle. So we're still at the point where we're we're crying. We want our brother at the wedding, and then he's not there. And then the pizza gate, and then the, oh my god, and all the stuff, all the things, all the things, all the things, all the things. It is what it is. I like I'm pro Gorgon and I'm pro Catania. Look, I'm Team Catania. I'm Switzerland, but he ain't even Switzerland. But I'm Switzerland, Team Catania. I'm Clean Dolores and Polly. That's the freaking engagement I want to see. I want to see Fuda and Rachel. I don't want to see any more of them, too. I want to see Joey and Melissa. I want to see all of them hanging out. I want to see Danielle. I want to see Marge. I want to see them all hanging out and having a good time. I want him to be out of the picture. He is nothing but a problem. Okay. Everybody else is fine. I'm pretty sure they would have had a great season if we didn't have to worry about that shit. But I'm not. I'm going to go because my mom telling you I'm not. I'm I'm just wrong. I'm, I'm running my mouth at this point. I have nothing like important to say. I just I'm not feeling good at all mentally. I think uh I don't know. My head hurts right now and I just I feel heavy right now. So um yeah. I'm gonna get meditate or something, guys, but it's crazy. Like I just it's she does, I, I guess. I mean, it's like I don't know what they're doing. Like, I don't. If you want to be on the show, why would you alienate yourself from the entire cast? Everybody welcomed him, man. I was team him last year. I, I was team Louie, not last year. I don't, whenever I was me and Aaron doing his side, I was team Louie and Teresa. I said, let's not listen to exes. No ex partner, no ex girlfriend, no ex wife. But let's not listen to the exes. All the exes coming out and accusing him of all the shit. <clears throat> He's a changed man. If he's a change man, we'll see that. If he's all these things they say he is, we'll see that too. The man will show himself. Okay, we don't gotta believe X because I'm pro Teresa. Yes, let's bring him in. Let's 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 uh, welcome him in. And guess what happens? Hey, something right? Something is just not. I don't feel right. But it feels like. I mean, I had some things going on that I can't fix that I just have to deal with. So it's like something I gotta deal with, and it's like I just <clears throat> I feel like the universe just was like. The universe checked my ass is what it did. Let's put it that way. The universe has checked my ass again. For the last time, though. <laughs> For the last fucking time. <clears throat> yeah. I guess I needed that check to realize. Like, I needed the, yeah, the universe checked my ass, so. I don't know. It sucks bad. But, um, yeah. George, they get plus George's home. And I'm hungry. So, I'm gonna go eat. I made spaghetti last night. It's really good. 
I made um, bow ties and we had like round sausage and shit. And it's sitting right now. Hey, mom, look, Kitty, I know. But um, the only reason I might come back on later just for mental, just to mentally check in with everyone because um, I might need to. So. Anyway, yeah, like, and I always tell you, you guys appreciate it. Like, thank God you guys are here. Huh. Like, even if you just hop in for a minute, like, I just do waking up and still wanting to do this is why, like, I kept me going today. It's keeping me going right now. You know, I tried to get myself into, like, you know, my usual, like, cheery mood because I did my nature really good. I'm just, my, I'm just not feeling good. You know, just mentally, I'm just feeling good. But it's crazy because, like, I mean, I, everything, I can't say everything, but. I don't even know right now. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it'll get better. It has to. Huh. Time will tell, right? Um, all right, guys. I will, if you guys give me an Instagram, if you want. So make sure you follow me and all that. And my views are down because I haven't been really, like, paying attention, but I'm getting back to it, like, guys. I mean, listen, for the, for, on the good, like, I'll say on, like, you know, as far as UFOs and, like, my, that side of, like, that side of life, like all the alien stuff coming out. The good thing, I feel like, you know, finally we're getting full disclosure. I'm happy with the spiritual side of things. It's like, but the universe, like I said, has checked my ass. Like, whatever's going on with the universe right now, whatever's on the planet, like, I think it, like, I think the universe is like, look, one more and you got to wake the fuck up. <laughs> like, I'm going to check it one more time. You need to wake the fuck up. It's 2024. It's time to change. It's like, Chris, to open your fucking eyes. I don't know why. I don't know what what, what this whole lesson is. Just, I gotta go. I I can't. I did stuff too. I'm not I'm not innocent and everything. So yeah. I just yeah. It is what it is. But all right, guys. I will talk to you later. If not Wednesday, I'll talk to you in the in the Instagram. So, but uh, yeah. I love you all. Don't, you know, Mimi, I know I was like, I've sending you some messages. I hope you're not really, I didn't want you to worry, but um, I knew they were pretty dark. <laughs> hey, Aaron, love you. Uh, I was going to go now because I don't feel well. But um, call me if you want, guys. All right. I love y'all. Thanks. I can't end it. <laughs> love you guys. Yeah, I do all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll talk to you soon. I can't get it to end. There it goes. All right.